Alrighty, last but certainly not least, this is something special from Royal Beardsman. I say special because today is their official release date for this. What is it, you ask? Holy jeez, I'm sore. Spent the last few days hiking around Yosemite and my body, it's definitely feeling it right now. Uh, nonetheless, totally worth it. For those of you following me on Instagram, I'm going to be posting up photos from the venture. And for those of you here, I'm going to be piecing together a vlog of the day's event. That way we can all share the experience together. The good news is for you is that you don't have to endure the pain or the aftermath from hiking. I think it was around 10 miles round trip. I'll have to double check on that. But again, totally worth it. Now, back to business at hand. Today, we're gonna to be doing a beard product review. Today, we have Royal Beardsman. A pretty rad little stamp that they have on the box that they send out. Alrighty, so opening the box. So this is, yeah, so we have stickers and Bonfire Brandy. Oh, this is awesome. So these cards right here, let me pull them all out. They give a description of the scents that I'm assuming are gonna be in this box right now. This card right here says King's Lagoon. And on this card it says, reminiscent of a true tropical paradise blended with coconut, citrus, and hints of vanilla, King's Lagoon is the ideal summer scent. So that's pretty rad that they have these cards to go along with the scents to describe what they are. So we'll set these aside and stickers. More stickers. Okay, there's that. And here we have the card. It says Royal Beardsman, Florida-based beard company, all natural ingredients made in the U.S., premium quality products. And on the back, it has some of their featured products. Here's the card. Okay, we're going to start with Sire. And on the card, it says... The perfect blend for the professional or just modern beardsman looking to impress. Sire is the complete essence of a high-end cologne that is mildly understated to be conveniently worn in your beard. So let's check this out. Dun, dun, dun. A couple drops, rub it around, warm it up. This... <laughs> It really does smell like a cologne. In all honesty, I would opt to use this instead of wearing out my other colognes for a night out. Kind of reminds me of um, Dolce Gabbana The One. It has a, a woodsy musky smell to it. And a little bit on the sweet side, it's, it's fairly mild. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually. I'm thoroughly impressed with the uh, with this one for to take the place of a clone. So that's awesome. I, I really do like that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Next up, Bonfire Brandy. Quite an intriguing name right there. Now looking at the card, it says Bonfire Brandy is perfect for the avid outdoorsman who enjoys the scent of a burning bonfire while knocking back a bottle of brandy. This scent closely correlates to a burning fire with a small hint of molasses. Very interesting, let's see here. Couple drops. Warm it up. I, I can already smell it right now. That's crazy. Um, there's definitely a smoky feel to this scent. And also, I don't know if they said it on here, but there's kind of a hint of cinnamon, but this doesn't say cinnamon. It says bottle of brandy, burning bonfire with a hint of molasses. I really do smell that smoky bonfire essence with just a hint of cinnamon. And it is it is mildly sweet, so I, I'm I'm really digging this one as well. And this one again, this is bonfire brandy. 
Well done so far from Royal Beardsman. These are awesome. Alrighty, next up, King's Lagoon. And King's Lagoon, let me grab the card. Reminiscent of a true tropical paradise, blended with coconut, citrus, and hints of vanilla, King's Lagoon is the ideal summer scent. We'll be the judge of that. Let's see here. Okay. Couple drops. So there is that hint of coconut with that citrus feel to it and it is it is very mild and a tropical and it is a tropical scent and it's not too tropical it's 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 right on it's like it's riding that fine line to where it's not it's nowhere near like sun tanning lotion and it's it's not extremely mild it's right in the middle i don't know if that helps clarify the scent or not let me put a little more in my hand Let's see here. I, I, I am liking this one as well. Yeah, n you know what? Now with the second time around with smelling it and how I've, I've acclimated to what I was initially associating it with, there is more of a citrus scent to it as opposed to the tropical scent. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm, I'm picking more of a citrus vibe to it with a touch of tropical. So that is what the, what is this again? King's Lagoon smells like. Again, this is another one that I would wear. I really think that they hit the nail on the head with these scents. Yeah, super, seriously, I'm, I'm very impressed with these three scents that we've smelled so far. All right, now to, let me wash off my hands clean the palate, if you will. Now we're getting into the beard balms and these beard balms, they're going to be the same as these three oils with a scent. So we have the Sire, the Bonfire Brandy and the King's Lagoon. And I like to, I've done this before and I usually do this when I am reviewing a product. I see how closely the oils and the balm smell because every now and then you'll get some products that don't smell like one another, even though they are the same scent. And I, I can already tell that this one smells exactly like the other. And the balm is in excellent consistency. Oh, here, let me show you what the, uh, the balm looks like. Yeah. So that smells, that smells the same. Going for the bonfire brandy now. I'm really, I can't believe with this bonfire brandy, I really can't get over the fact how it smells like a campfire. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Let's see here. Yeah. And definitely consistent with the oil as well. I really like this. I really do like this. Okay. So that is the bonfire brandy now the king's lagoon hmm. let me smell this now with the what is this this is the um the king's lagoon now i am i am picking up more of a citrus scent from the oil than I am the balm. Maybe I need to rub it around a little bit and see if that changes. Cause I think that's what happened with the oil. When I started rubbing it around a little bit, I lost the coconut scent kind of died down a little bit and I was picking up more of the citrus scent. Yeah. As it warms up, it is tailoring more towards that citrus scent. It's very weird. So yeah, the initial, when, for me, this is my take on it. When I initially sp smelled King's Lagoon in both the oil and the balm, my initial perception, I guess you would say, 
was that coconut tropical scent, but as it warmed up with both of these, it was steering more towards the directions of citrus. That's very interesting. And I do like this scent. Going over the ingredients, I didn't touch on the ingredients. I'm sorry for that. Um, yoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, pumpkin seed oil, hemp seed oil, scented with premium essential oils. So this is very consistent with your typical premium beard oil as far as the ingredients are concerned. Let me check out the Bonfire Brandy. Same main ingredients here. Well, let me see, that one almost spilled. And this one, the virgin argan oil. And I didn't mention that virgin argan oil um, in all three of these. But yeah, consistent with those ingredients. So that's here. And as far as the balms are concerned, uh, naturally refined shea butter, pure white beeswax, virgin argan oil, golden yojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel, hemp seed, avocado, pumpkin, grapeseed oil, scented with premium essential oils. Alrighty, last but certainly not least, this is something special from Royal Beardsman. I say special because today is their official release date for this. What is it, you ask? Their beard butter. <clears throat> now with this beard butter, is right in between an oil and a balm. It still has the key essential rich nutrients but it's also whipped into unrefined shea butter, giving it that butter texture. Now this is perfect for using immediately after you shower and before bed. It keeps your beard nice and moisturized throughout the night. You wake up and it's nice and soft. Now one thing to note with the butter and the fact that they do use natural oils is that in shipment, it may arrive melted so feel free if that is the case feel free to put that in the refrigerator and you should be good to go that was one of the um the pointers that they had told me we'll see what it looks like and this i received this i think three days ago and it's been sitting in the house so it shouldn't be melted i don't think it will be melted let's check it out but a boom bada bing mm. so it smells good and no it's not melted but you can tell it probably was at one point which does no harm whatsoever now pertaining to the scent of this beard butter it is tortuga bay and i don't know why i just put that um, accent there but the card reads as far as the scent it says this scent is blended with bay leaves spices and cinnamon to develop our own take on the traditional bay rum so let's check this out mm, that really does smell good I def I'm definitely picking up the spices and the cinnamony. Cinnamony is a word, right? And almost like a vanilla sweetness to it, but it doesn't mention anything pertaining to the vanilla. But yeah, that smells really good. Now, now it does mention bay leaves, but I'm not really sure what bay leaves smell like. So I can't really help you there in regard to if it in fact has sense of bay leaves. So I'm sorry about that. But I like this as well. In regard to consistency, it is in between an oil and a balm, and I th think it's more on the balm side of the spectrum. It is a tad bit softer, but not too much softer. So I don't, I'm not sure if that helps you out in regard to kind of describing what the texture feels like on this. Let's see here, let me put this one in my, in my stash. Okay, now for my overall impression on Royal Beardsman and their product, I think they did a phenomenal job. And it's everything from the packaging to these cards. This is the first time that I've seen a beard company give cards that have a description of their scents, individual cards for each scent. I, I think that's a rad idea and very helpful. Now pertaining to the actual scents that they sent me, spot on I, I really do mean that and these are beard oils that i will be using in the future so all in all job well done and i wish them the best again that's royal beardsman and i'll leave the link to their product in the description box below yeah um i guess that's going to do it for today as always i hope that you found this video helpful 
perhaps intriguing. If you did, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. Until next time, peace.